Greetings. In this video, we will be going over how to find suppliers off Wholesale Central. So you may need to make an account with them first, but it's free and should only take a few seconds. So now, click on Advanced Search and choose a category. You will also want to make sure you set the location to the U.S. So, U.S. And then you can leave these last two blank. And as you can see, there are tons of different categories. The categories I would recommend starting with are arts and supplies, as seen on TV, automotive, baby items, um, cell phone accessories, closeout suppliers, computer products, crafts and supplies, electronics, fashion accessories, general merchandise, gifts, handbags and luggage, health, beauty and wellness, houseware and home decor, uh, lawn and garden, made in USA, office and school supplies, party supplies, perfume, pet supplies, sporting goods, tools and hardware, and then lastly, toys and hobbies. These will be the best categories for finding products to sell on Amazon. So I'd literally click on all the categories I mentioned and contact every single supplier. So let's say you're starting with art and supplies. So United States, hit search. Yeah, so let's just click on the uh, first one. And you want to take a quick look at the products they're selling. And what you're looking for is to see if they're selling any brand name products. And if they're not, you can still contact them. But what we're mostly looking for is brand name products. So this is mostly weapons, hats. Um, I mean, you could contact them, but... Personally, I wouldn't. So let's go back. Let's go to the next one. And yeah, so just take a quick look. There might be a tab up here that says products, but this seems to be by category. So let's just say all categories. Let's see. Okay, let's just go to games, see what they got. Okay, so this company does have brand name products. So now we want to find their contact information. And sometimes you might have to do a bit of looking to find their contact. It might be up here, or usually a lot of the times it's down here. So, okay, so here it is, contact us. Click on that. And then you'll want to grab their contact information. So... If they have an email, you'll want to grab that. If not, you could just grab their uh, phone. If you're not comfortable contacting them over phone, uh, you could just skip them. But honestly, contacting, contacting them over phone is actually better than email. It has a better conversion rate to close suppliers and make accounts with new suppliers over the phone and email. Because they get thousands of emails a day. Sometimes they don't even check all the emails, but if you call them directly and, t and speak with them directly, then it's just a lot easier to uh, close an account with them. But it also takes more time, so it's really a, a judgment call on your part. So there's their email up top, but let's just say we're going to call this company. So you can grab their phone number and either call them on the spot or put it into an Excel list and call them later. You want to make a simple Excel and just put email, phone, and website just to help keep track of who you're contacting. So let's go to copy. Okay, so now we got the information and we can go to the next one and just on to the next one okay so products let's see supplies 
let's click on supplies um, let's see looks like they're mostly just doing picture frames okay they have picture frames cards um, okay personally I would not contact this company just because it doesn't seem like they have very many good products but again you'll have to take you'll have to use a judgment call on that so personally I would skip that one though and then ruby red paints okay so now they're saying drop ship and private label I'm not even gonna click on that and then paints that's uh, usually hazardous so you won't be able to sell hazardous products right away anyway so we're gonna skip over that one let's click on this one okay so let's see category let's say toys and baby let's see what kind of products they have alright so I mean it looks a little weird I don't know why they got all their products stuffed in boxes um yeah, this one's kind of weird, but I mean, it looks like they have a variety of a lot of different products. So, personally, I would go ahead and contact them just to see maybe if they're potentially a good supplier. So, let's go to their contact us. Okay, so down here you could see a phone number and email. So, let's grab their email address throw it in our excel sheet grab their website throw it in the excel sheet and yeah so basically you'll just do that over and over again until you have a giant list of suppliers in your excel sheet and then you can slowly just start contacting them and trying to find a good supplier so here's the list of categories I recommend and then remember to make your professional email address and signature block before you start contacting suppliers so here's kind of an example of what it should look like an example of what your signature block should look like and then this is just a sample email template you can kind of get creative with it and change things up but just remember to keep it short and sweet because you don't want to send them multiple paragraphs right off the bat because they just probably won't read it at all so for the first email keep it short sweet to the point and then for the follow-up emails you can start telling them a little bit more about your company and get more in depth from there but yeah first email keep it short and sweet